All right, good morning from the mountain city of Bukitinggi here in West Sumatra, Indonesia. As you can see from the view behind me, it looks like a really beautiful little city. Let me show you the view from a hotel rooftop. Check it out, the views over Bukitinggi. We've got so many of the traditional buildings. We've got the mosque that never sleeps. There's a volcano over there behind the clouds. And then on this side, another big volcano. Look at that. So yeah, beautiful view, proper nice mountain city. So let's explore, let's see what Bukatingi is like. So the climate here in Bukatingi is actually really nice. We've got that cool mountain climate. That's why I've got a long sleeve on. But believe it or not, God saw me coming, didn't he? Today must be like the hottest day of the year. We've got beautiful blue skies, the sun's so bright. Sod's low. So we're going for breakfast, we're absolutely starving. And I think we know of a good spot down here somewhere. That's where we're going, Pichal Sikai. Since 1948, legendary spot. I hope. Houses are cool around here, aren't they? Down by this green mosque, eh? So here's the spot we've come to, Pichal Sikai. The sign says, since 1948, which is epic. After you leash. So we'll head in and get some hearty breakfast. Hello. Hello. It's cool in here, isn't it? It's like a cool, it's like a house. Hello, okay. Hello, apa kabar? Saya nak dua pichal. Let's get two bowls. Looks really cool. The auntie looks absolutely legendary, doesn't she? It's quiet in here. It's chill out. Food's here. Did I make a say? Yeah. Okay. This looks really good, doesn't it? So we've got two bowls of pichal, which is like a classic Indonesian breakfast here in this region anywhere so I'll just show you what we've got in here there's a few new things in. we've got all these crackers on the top the pink crackers we've got the compressed rice cakes we've got some noodles in there what else have we got we've got some banana blossom got some different veggies underneath and then the sauce is like a, a peanut based sauce it smells well good there's the banana blossom it smells really good banana flour so we need to give this a big mix up. It does look really good, it smells really good. Quite excited to eat it. And 1948, how old is that? That's 75 years old. That's epic. It looks that way, it looks like it's not changed since 1948. Yeah. Right, so there we go, a nice big bowl of pichal for breakfast. Look at that. Looks well good, doesn't it? Yeah. What do we get for those rice cakes? Mm. It's very peanutty, only a little bit spicy. It's just a mishmash of Ooh. different ingredients. It tastes really fresh. Obviously, it's cold, cold dish. It's not bad at all. It's very fresh. Then there's that banana flour in there, which is a really interesting ingredient. Which again, just tastes really warm, fresh. A bit funny, a bit perfume. Mm. It's so quiet now. Like dead silent. How's the pitch out leash? Honest review. It's really good. But it's very dry. That's what I will say. Okay, it's delicious. Put a little bit of different parts of it. This is the quietest place. I've ever eaten. Oh, until my mate with his telephone walked in. All we can hear is everyone munching. So we're going to go and see how much these two bowls of peach out cost. And I'm still whispering because it's really quiet. But I'll pack. We'll see. Oh, I'm here. Okay. So they were 15,000 each. I mean, it is a really cool spot, isn't it? The lady is quite nice. Check that out. Legendary. I'll tell you what's proper funny, though. I don't give a shit about this. But a lot of you, view you viewers love to comment and moan about weird stuff. The lady uses the exact same glove that she uses to handle all the money and do everything with, touch everything. The same glove that she uses to pick up your food and, like, assemble your ball. So yeah, have a moan about that if you want. 
So 15k a ball, 15,000, not too bad. It's double what we were paying in Padang. But I guess if it's a legendary spot, it's an old time spot, famous spot, they'll just charge them a little bit. It's still very affordable. It was so quiet though, I felt like. You could have literally heard anything in there. You could have heard my stomach growl. <laughs> It was like being so back at school when you hadn't had breakfast and yeah, your belly went off and everyone everyone looked at you. So heading through this really nice little street, past these beautiful houses, because I think down here somewhere there's going to be a view into the valley. I hope so anyway. So far all we can find is this old traditional roof. Monkeys. <gasps> Monkeys, shit. A cock. A bit of a landfill. Oh no. What are you doing, sir? Hello. Ooh. So I don't know what's going on around here. It looks a bit abandoned. But we can see the tower there that we've come to check out. We'll just have to get past this monkey, Mr. Monkey. If he'll let us past. Hello, Abba There he is, Mr. Monkey. Hello. Oh. Just chilling out, yeah, having a bit of an itch. Yeah, so we've got a view here. We'll, we'll try and get up this tower and show you. Check it out. Decent view, that. So we're going to head up this. There's a lady sat here. I hope she's not trying to make you pay her to go up that, because if so, I'll just peer off here. Hello, hi. Hello, Abba Kaba. Hello. Okay, I'm fine. Oh. Where are you from? From England. England, England. Yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. What is this, like a gift shop? Yes. Ah, for the tower? Oh. Pan panorama? Panorama, oh, okay. Okay, So you don't have to pay, that's brilliant. We can just go up this. There's actually a viewpoint around the corner. I think you have to pay like 20,000 rupee if you're a foreigner to go up. Locals don't pay that. I love a dual pricing. So we're going to go up here. Hopefully get a fantastic view. Up, up the spiral staircase we go. And then it should be a right nice view, eh? And to be honest, that is a beautiful view. Look at this, it's a proper valley, green jungle valley, look at that. That's cool. And the volcano, wow, look at the volcano. Massive. It is really beautiful around here, it's super green, super natural. Another volcano there. Bukitingi city over there. Hey. It's cool down there, we've got rice fields, we've got traditional houses, I bet they're guest houses you can stay in it looks like. And it's cool because it's a bit, how do we say, a bit of a moody climate. You know, we've got the blue sky and then we've got the dark clouds and all these like dragonflies. It's alright, innit? It's alright, I've seen better. Have you ever been up uh, Scorpio Park? Well, I've been to Blackpool. Huh. I've been up Tower. Exactly. What, what do we need to come here for? If you've been up Tower, you can see whole of England. You don't need to go anywhere else. No better view than well, that. Well, go up Tower on a, on a clear day, you could actually see France. Oh, look at this. Got some Bucky Tingy t shirts. Uh, excuse me, how much is this one? Oh, can you for sale? Any barata rupiah. Oh. <laughs> Not for sale. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Not for sale. What do I say? Kuching? Yeah. Kuching barata. Okay. Cat. Kuching. Kuching. Oh. Mao. Mao. Cat. Mao. Mo di wawa. We got cat. 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 English. Cat. Yes. Goodbye. This is well funny, I feel like that is the main gate in where you have to pay to enter. But we just came in through the back door, didn't we? Through some little dodgy neighbourhood. So, so I have no idea what's going on, but we're at the panorama now, the proper tourist spot. So we've got more views, look at this. I mean, that is an epic volcano. That is a sick view. No one is denying that, look at this. Pure jungle view. It is really beautiful. That's well funny, just sneaking through the back door. With a monkey, oh mate, the monkey led us the way. There we go. Exit through gift shop. Or should we say exit through graveyard? Look at this, what's going on? Underestimated us in there, didn't they? They don't know who we are. They don't know where we're from. Paying 
to see the viewpoint. Damn it. So that right there is the main entrance. And it's 20k for foreigners, yeah. Four times the price of locals. Very progressive. <laughs> Before we got busted, a guy just came over, he says. <laughs> he says, come in. I've seen you inside already. And I was like, shit, we've been busted, but no. He just said, come back in, we've got to wear it. And then he gave us a restaurant recommendation. So we're going to keep wandering around Bukitingi, see what's going on. That's ridiculous, that, by the way. Why would I want to pay a quid to stand there? I hate that. You should not put a paywall in front of a viewpoint, a natural viewpoint. It's one of the worst things you can do on the planet. It's really bad practice. I hate it. How are you today? Very good, how are you? Good. It's Monkey Town, Bukitingi. Look at this young chap on top. They're all on the fence. At least she's jumped out of her skin. I don't know why. When I see you on above me, I think it's gonna fucking get me. Excuse me? Why have you got that moustache? Oh, what's that? So the Minang architecture here in Bukatingi is incredible. It's gotta be some of the coolest architecture I've ever seen. Look at the buildings. And so many of them are like this. Look, this looks like some sort of school or something, I don't know. But the roofs are sick. Here in Indonesia, the photo shoot never ends. We're on it. Yeah. It never ends. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you're my friend? Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you all. Okay. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay. Best of luck. Enjoy your trip in Bukit English. Enjoy your Have time here. Day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah? Enjoy. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Yeah, the photo shoot never ends as well, funny. But everyone is quite nice and respectful here, to be honest. Bucky Tingi is a very nice vibe. You know, it's, it's chilled out. And, yeah, like I said before, the climate is well nice. We're sat here and there's a proper breeze. It's actually a little bit cold. That was so funny. It was like seven pictures on seven different phones, like this. It's 17 different angles, yeah. <laughs> We've had an absolute racket. There's three blocks here selling S Potong, which is like some kind of ice lolly, I think. What is it, Lee? I think it's an ice lolly. I think they dip it in chocolate. Hello. So we'll get one of these. Who do we go to? Hello. Abba Kaba. Yeah. Who is the best? Same. <laughs> bit up, uh, Rupia. Bit up, bit up, uh, Lima Ribu. Lima Ribu. Yeah, yeah, okay, 5,000. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what do you have? You have strawberry, chocolate, chocolate, alpucat, angur. Angur, alpucat. I don't know what they are. Should we have a look? Oh, is the purple one taro? Ini. Um, ini. Ini. No, no, ini. 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 Dua. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get the purple one. Which one do you want? It's so loud here. Did you not make one? Satu. 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 And then... What else has he got? I can't see. Yeah. He's got white, pink, chocolate. Oh, I want green. Well loud, them jingles. They need to turn them off. You can't hear all. Manga. Manga? Yeah. Manga? Mango? Oh, nice. Oh, so he just puts it on a stick. Oh, what is in here? Yeah, but chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Chocolate. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, he's got one of these. I'm standing outside. Legendary stuff. It's a big opera. Oh, so it's like liquid chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, good, good. Good. In our neck. So what's he gonna do with this? Pour it on top? Or is he just mixing it and then he dip? You see look. Oh! You see look at it. Oh, and then you let it like freeze off? Yes. Oh, okay. We've never had this before, first time. Okay. Yeah, manga. Oh. Yeah, manga. Did it make a say? Yes. It's a bit messy. Enough. Enough, just chocolate, chocolate. Okay, did it make a say? Hold it higher up. Uh, okay. Thank 
you. I need to let it freeze properly because all the chocolate's yeah. fallen off. Did anyone can say yeah. thank you? So these are 5,000 each, and once they put the chocolate on, you don't know what flavour you've got, but I've got it's purple. Is it taro? I don't know what it is. You know what? It's quite cool. It's like, like a homemade ice, all Yeah, it's like an ice. Um, those things you used to get when you were a kid that were. Have the shell on? Yeah. What are they called? Not, huh? Not bad, though. Refreshing on a hot day. How oh, George? It doesn't really taste of mango. No. It just tastes like ice cream. It just tastes like slightly flavoured ice with chocolate on <laughs> Blueberry. Is it blueberry? Apa. Um, Any? It's a. Agro. Yeah. Yeah. Tetra yeah. Lagi. I've got blueberry. Ah, oh, okay, it's delicious. And yeah. I can never Thank you. I've got blueberry. Yes. I was just thinking it tastes like berry. It's really good. Mmm. Mine tastes like um, nothing. Ice. Well, it's quite a fun little snack, isn't it? The chocolate tastes alright on the outside. Yeah, it tastes alright. It's just cheap, shitty chocolate, isn't it? It's just like the most. Look at what is that? <laughs> Shove it on a cocktail stick. It's hilarious. It's like a sausage. We're going to take a break from the sun. We're going to eat in this little nasty spot here. And let me tell you, we have been in this spot before and it's absolutely fantastic and the owners are really lovely. We're early in the day so we've got everything fresh. So you can see we've got the various dishes in the window you can choose from. Here we've got the chicken rendang, which is what we've been eating every day because it's so good. We've got, I think this is ayam pot. We've got some chicken and green sambal. We've got some tempeh and fish. It's really good, it's really good. Yeah. This rendang, number one. Uh, yeah. This uh, rendang yes. chicken. Rendang ayam, yes. Yeah, rendang ayam. And... The fish. Tempeh. The fish, tempeh. Okay. And fish. Tempeh. 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 Chicken. Chicken. Okay, from the chicken. Sambal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what is this? I'm finding. Uh, ayam bumbu. Ayam bumbu. Ayam bumbu. Ayam bumbu. Oh, okay. Ayam bumbu. Ayam bumbu. You can try if you like uh, spicy, yeah, not okay. spicy. Okay. You tell to someone. To okay. This is coming. Spicy is good. Chicken rendang. Okay, okay. Chicken How do you like? Spicy or not spicy? Spicy is good. It's okay. Good. We're waiting. Chicken rendang. Right, so the food is all quite fresh. We'll order now. Um, Sayanak satu uh, rendang dada and satu rendang um, paha. ini. Yeah, paha. Paha. Uh -huh. And can we get? Um, any satu? Tiga. Uh, yes, yes, please. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, okay. Then I can say, honestly, this place is so good. And look inside; it's just a little humble. You could almost say like a house. It's just like a proper warung spot. Look at it. Kedai nasi. I can't read that, but these are the best type of places to eat. Always. Then I can say. This looks so good. I think I'm gonna get the two rice today. I'm gonna have to. All right, everyone, we've got a proper little feast going on here. Let me show you what we've got. So we've got chicken rendang, rendang I am. I've got a leg piece. Leisha's got a breast piece. And our mate in here just said, this is the best rendang in town. And let me tell you, it's flipping well good. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Look at the sauce it's in. We've got a beautiful red sambal. Look at that. That is what you want. We've got the green chicken in the green sambal. I don't know the name of that. And then we've got some green beans. And obviously we've got a big pile of rice. Or nasi with the... We just asked a lady, she said it's some type of coconut. We're unsure what it is, but this stuff here. So yeah, this is really good. And we also got tea. Let's wash our hands in a little bowl. Like we do. I still never understand this, because you're essentially just dipping your hand in water. You're not using soap or like any like... Uh, anything to kill the germs, but it is what it is, we've not got ill. Um, touch wood. <laughs> no, I think we'll be right. We've got stomachs of steel. Again, touch wood. I'm so excited to eat this every time we come. Look at this chicken rendang. That is a thing of beauty. Look at that. It looks so good, like the sauce. <sighs> right, let's get started. Throw a bit of sambal on our rice as well and then yeah where do we start 
The green beans are really good in the sambal as well. This is a really good little snack. If you get your green bean and you dip it in. It's so good. This sambal, let me tell you, is super fresh. Every time I go in, we get solo peas just brought in out. Really good stuff, fresh red chilli. First things first, we've got to go in for that chicken rendang. It is beautiful. So good, honestly. I could eat this every day. It's beautiful. Slightly salty, so rich, a little bit earthy. It's like proper complex taste. Slightly coconutty. Mm. I don't know if you could taste, but I don't know. It's just so good. It's really been slow simmered in all those spices, and you just end up with this. So good. It's like it's one of the best foods ever. So let's just try that sambal and rice. Just that, because if the sambal is good. That will be delicious on its own without anything else. It's hot, it's fresh, it's, it's literally just come out well good. It's got that amazing fresh chilli taste. A little bit spicy, nothing extreme. Oh, it's so good. And this special stuff, it's actually hard to show you, I'll try and show you in the bowl. That I asked it to throw on the rice. It's delicious. You know, it looks like floss. It's a little bit salty, but it, go, it just goes really well with everything. And we'll quickly just show you the chicken and the green sambal. This also looks so good. I'll try and break a bit of that off. I don't know what piece this is. What is it? Is it a little breast? I don't know. Try and get some off without making a mess. There we go. Get some of the sambal. Oh, it's messy. Gotcha. Oh, that's so good. That's so, that is really good. Just, I don't know. Really juicy chicken. The sambal is just fresh. It's packed full of flavour. Well good. So we also got tea. It's got a classic tea with sugar. It's so good, but honestly, there must be about four spoons of sugar in it. That's why it tastes so good. That's what I'm saying, maybe that's why it's so bloody good. But it is really good, super sweet too. And as I also got the red rang. I've got the breast piece. And it's, it's so hard to explain what it tastes like. Because it's so complex. But it's just so good. All you need to know is that it's absolutely delicious. I think it's the best one we've ever eaten. 100%. I think it's the best one we've had. Yeah. Well, right. That right. Yeah. Thing of absolute beauty. One of my top dishes I've ever eaten. It's definitely up there. It has to go up there because it's genuinely that good. Terimakase. Oh, that looks so good. Little baby rice. Terimakase. Mm -hmm. She knows me now. Do you know what she said? Do you want an extra rice? She knows me. We're on a um, regular standard now. This is a feast, this is like, this is um, Indonesian food for me, this is it. This is what you want, little banquet. Eating somewhere like this, you just can't beat it. We're back to there, don't know what's going on in there. I love it. Table for three, anyone? Table for three? I would like some rendang ayam. How do we say, kedai nasi? Awe Serupun. Awe Serupun? Yeah. Okay, so here's the spot. Here's where you want to be coming. <laughs> Without a doubt, the best restaurant in Bukitinggi. So we'll see how much it costs. Berapa? Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. 40? 40. 40. 40. Okay. okay. 40,000 for us both, one pound each. You absolutely can't go wrong for all that food we just had. And how good the food was. It was actually 50, which is still incredible value. That's one pound 25 each. And yeah, you can't beat it. Okay, okay. Thank you so much.
<laughs> this is our favourite restaurant in Bukitingi, number one. But the best chicken rendang. Mm. So good, so good, honestly. <laughs> okay, did anyone say goodbye? Yeah. Seriously, check this place out. I'll put this place in the description, as I always do when we find a proper good spot like this. Like, look at the rendang here. That big pot of rendang. It's heaven. There's only one way. When a food's that good, all I can say is, it's well good. There's no other way I can say it. I can't use any other words. Top. See that there? Twisted potatoes. That's gonna be one of the worst street foods in the world. They also sell eggs on a stick here. I have no idea who in the right mind would eat that crap anywhere in the world when there's good street food out there. Get it in bin. Right nice little park here. Pretty much in the centre of Bukitingi. Really cool. Loads of people everywhere. I think this is like a tourist town, especially at the weekend, for Indonesian tourists. Not, not really many foreigners, I don't think. But you've got a beautiful view from everywhere in town, really. It's a proper mountain town. Mountain towns are the best. I don't care what you say. The views are always the best. Climate's the best. So we're going to head to the Bukitinggi Clock Tower. How about you? Here we are. The Bukitinggi Clock Tower. Absolutely iconic spot. It is really cool. Look at the roof. As you can see in the evening, this is the happening spot. There's people everywhere, like, well busy. Everyone's come out, people are selling stuff, there's food, there's drink. It's a proper, proper busy spot. So we're gonna chill here for a bit. Admire this masterpiece. Maybe look at the view over there. Maybe get some food, and then round the day off. Clock tower's over there, then right behind it, We've got a cracking view, look at this. Of the volcano over there, it's epic, well nice. And you can see all Bukitinggi city. That is a really nice view, honestly. I say it a lot, but you can't beat a volcano view, look at that. What do you think of the view, Lee? Really nice, actually. Really beautiful, isn't it, the volcano? It is quite aesthetically pleasing place to look at, to be honest. Like, when you look at it from above, it looks clean, it looks like really cool, the roofs are really cool, it's really green, it's nice. As we were looking at that view, I just turned around, I've seen everyone's munching on a little snack here that I have no idea what it is. You can see this lady's got one, it's like a cracker. Hello. Hello, Apa Kaba. Yeah, me. What is this? Apa Me. Me. And then some sauce. Apa ini? Wasati. Oh, is it peanut? Delicious. Okay. Um, berapa satu? Lima ribu. Okay. Saya nak satu. Satu aja. Satu ya. We'll just get one of these. Five thousand. So it's some kind of cracker. Ini ini. Um, Dari ubi. Ubi. So it's a cracker. She spreads that sauce on. Throws a few noodles on the top. What a strange snack. This is a strange snack. Oh, and then more sauce. What is this one? Any peras? No. 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 Sedang sedang aja. Is it kacang? Ah? No. Peanut. Kacang apa? Kacang. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Terima kasih. There we go. Look at this for a snack. We couldn't resist it. Everyone was munching on it. Must be okay. I mean, it looks very suspicious. It looks like some sort of like toy. Makan, makan. Looks like a proper kids snack. Go on, leash. You have to break the end off. Oh, terimakase. He goes an extra tissue. Oh! Delicious. Mm, actually, it's quite delicious. Enak? Yeah, very good. Lamak bana. It's like a cracker. Yeah, but it's like a little saucy. Spicy. Yeah, it's like a spicy sauce and some noodles on top. <laughs> Quite strange, but is it good? Wait, let's try that snack. This is like a proper pavo snack. Look at that. Hello. Oh. Hello. Where are you come from? England. You know what? Yeah. It's not that bad. The sauce is a little salty, a little sweet. I don't know. It's not bad at all. It's not great, but it's not bad either. So. A bit strange. <laughs> Photos commence again. 
Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. For the Indonesia land of flipping selfies, isn't it? Everyone just, just constantly approaches you. Photo. Whatever. <laughs> there's, only, there's actually only so many photos you can have though, but it does start to piss you off. So the potato swirl might be one of the worst street foods of all time. But what's even worse, it's a potato swirl that's been sat there for two hours. Just make them fresh, it's really not that hard. When someone orders one, make it and give it to them. Don't just make them two hours before. It's just lazy. It's so pointless. Bucky Tingy has a zoo. But it's um, 40,000 for international tourists. We have to pay more again, shock. Apparently it's really horrible, Leash. She says there's an elephant in a big pit that can't get out. Proper tight, isn't it? <laughs> I know, some of these countries you go to, the zoos are flipping abysmal. Like, you've never seen, all, you've never seen a sorry zoos in your life. Shit zoos, aren't they? Check this street out, proper dodgy back alley. So we're gonna head back to our area of Bukitingi. Get a quick bite to eat. Call it there. Right, we're back on the rooftop. We're gonna round the video off here. We actually just went for some food and I completely forgot to film it, but it's right, you've had enough delicious food in this video already. So Bukitingi, nice place really. Nice people, nice food, nice climate, nice nature, nice buildings. It's a flipping nice place. Nice one!